Okay, so this is my first time using this product. So this is really a real life first impressions demo. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. I got it from Target. I think I paid $3 for it. So um, it has this peachy color. It is like a wind up little one. So I got my mirror right here. Let's get right into it. So uh, I'm going to put that much. Do you guys think that's good? I think that's good. We're going to start there. And it is a little creamy, which I like. I think that's enough. I'm trying to decide if I should blend it with my finger or with the sponge. I'm going to use my finger because I feel like my finger is warm and that's going to help. But it's also looking a little light, like real light. So... It's funny, I get new makeup products, I just opened it up. I was just had the thought, like, maybe I should have read the box. But, um, I don't know, maybe I didn't need to read the box. I'm gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so that's one eye. Kind of blended out. So it's kind of giving me, like, a little, like, crown concealer vibe. So, um, oh, what I should have did was do one side without it and to see how that looks. But, oh, uh, man, I'm gonna be thinking, y'all. Okay, oh, that looks light. Real light, Okay. I'm going to blend the other side. I think I'm going to still come in with a beauty blender, a damp one after need, under after this, because it looks like I put pure white underneath my eyes. I mean, it's a little tan. It's more tan in real life than it is reading on this camera. But um, also the ring light is probably not helping because it's, like, harsh. But this is really... Um, I don't know about this for brown people. We're going to keep going, though. I'm not giving up on it. Like I said, I just put the um, product just straight on with and I blended it with my fingers. I now have a beauty blender, a dirty one. Yes, it is dirty. I use it. And I wash them. Just work with me, y'all. Okay, so now we got a damp beauty blender. Oh, I guess I should have showed this. The Evian um, facial spray. I use this to always moisten my... Um, beauty blenders because like I said I don't um go to the bathroom to do my makeup I do it at like my makeup table which is right behind me so I need water that I can uh have at my desk at all times and setting spray is expensive so I want to use a regular water even though that stuff's not cheap either but you know all right so I blended it out a little more and it's um less Oof, but we are not gonna go in with Born This Way concealer. This is my favorite under eye concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Oh, made in Italy, really? I never even knew that. And I'm gonna put one dab, one dab. That's how I usually do it. Uh, a little more for that dab. And then I'm gonna go back with the sponge and blend under my eye. So. Yes, my mouth is probably wide open. I cannot close my mouth and do this at the same time. I don't know how people do that with under eye. It's like you just automatically, like it's like I have to open my mouth so it's correct. Okay, now I'm coming in the other side with my concealer. Just blending that out. Blending that out. Okay. Um. I feel like this is a good look. Now, I'm looking in the camera, and it looks like white out, like totally underneath my face. But in real life, it does not look as light. So, um, yeah, so I definitely like it. Maybe I should have used a little less product, but it definitely got rid of the shadow that tends to be underneath my concealer. So, um, I like it. I like it. So I'm going to go and put on contour and everything else and then come back to you guys with my final uh, thoughts about this product. Okay, so I am back. And I decided that I do not like this product. So I um, 
went, contoured, and put setting powder. And it's still looking too white. And what I realized is that this butterscotch shade is already a little yellow. So the reason why it works is because that yellow gives the brightness and stuff already. So when I mix it with this peachish, it's maybe it's too yellow or maybe it um takes away like some other kind of tones and just whites it out or maybe it's lighting lightening the color so that way instead of it being butterscotch now it's like a shade above butterscotch but it's too white looking so um i didn't see like a this is if you look at the packaging it doesn't tell you that this is for like light to medium and that if you're dark to deep tone that you need another look for it i mean this might work if i just put my foundation on and put this on and then maybe if i put the foundation then conceal on top of the foundation but maybe it's because i don't have foundation i don't know but looking at me right now underneath my eyes looks really white and i just i wouldn't want to leave the house like that <laughs> Not on a regular every day. Maybe if I was doing something extravagant over the top, but I just feel like it looks really, really stark. And that's my right shade concealer. Like I said, this butterscotch holds me down in the um, winter time. Once it's summer, it's gonna look be a little too light. But right now, not that it's winter, winter, but in March, I'm not tan enough for this to be um, looking like this underneath my eyes. So um, I'm gonna see if I could finesse this ELF um co color corrector uh, the good thing is like I said that it was only three dollars so I don't feel upset um had this been like a $25 NARS or somebody else's company's color corrector I would be livid because I'm like oh no this is not brown girl friendly why do y'all put this on the shelves <laughs> but uh because it is elf i'm not that upset so like i said i am definitely going to with most products this is my first demo first uh use of it so i always always want to give products a fair chance so i'm definitely going to go in um i have this coloration around here also so i'm going to see if i could put it under my foundation and if that will work that way but um in terms of just putting it straight underneath my eyes with the concealer um, I don't think that this tone is necessarily tonally correct to correct dark circles on deep, dark skin tones. So, that's my two cents. Uh, if you tried this product and it worked for you, please let me know what you did, how you used it. Maybe I did put too much because I did put a lot, but um, I felt like I wanted to cover it up. Like, come on. But, um, thank you so much for coming to my channel, watching my video. Visit KimberlyGamble.com for more reviews and awesome information about hair, beauty, skincare, travel, and technology. And make sure you subscribe so that way you'll be here for the next video. Have a great day and thanks for watching.